you know, and have you seen have you seen this guy Jeff Flake, Senator Jeff Flake? He wrote this book called The Conscience of a Conservative. Obviously, a very very famous book by uh, Senator Barry Goldwater has become, and it's become a sort of uh, you know conservative. A guidebook, basically. So he writes, Jeff Flake, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you why this is funny in a minute. He writes this book, basically reaming Trump and saying, we've got to get back to it. And now here he is on Face the Nation, and suddenly his tone changes because the book, I haven't read the book, but I've just read a couple of excerpts. It really goes after Trump, calling him a debagog and all this stuff. And now he goes on Face the Nation, suddenly butter wouldn't melt on, in his mouth. Well, I felt that just like Goldwater had felt in his time 56 years ago when he wrote the original Conscience of Conservative, that the party had lost its way. And uh, I think similarly today, the party has lost its way. We've uh, given in to nativism and protectionism. And I, I think that uh, if we're going to be a governing party in the future and a majority party, uh, we've got to go back to traditional conservatism, limited government, economic freedom, individual responsibility, respect for free trade. Uh, those are the principles that made us who we are. So he's looking, he's got this kind of sincere look and all this stuff. And he goes on Chris Matthews on MSNBC and Matthews is saying, wait a minute, where's the Trump attacks? So, you know, in your book, it's all Trump attacks. Where is it? <laughs> Listen to this. What's getting this book a lot of publicity and a lot of attention, the reason I'm fascinated with is how tough you are on Donald Trump, not this sort of generalized critique you're offering about mm -hmm. the world conditions you're giving me here. Mm -hmm. You have a different tone right now in this room than well, you have in this book. This book is very hard hitting, very hard hitting on Trump. Demagoguery is the word you use. Populism, uh, protectionism, you used all the tough words and you don't like them. You don't think this president's good for the country, do you? Well, let me say. Well, no, I, in this book it says he's not good I'll, for the I'll, I'll talk about what I talk about in the book. Okay. Okay, good. Um, I, I say in the book that I've agreed with him on many things. You know, Supreme Court justice, great one, great uh, you know cabinet picks. Uh, I've worked with him on regulatory reform. But where I think uh, that he's profoundly unconservative is uh, on things like free trade. I mean, that's something that we can't abandon as Republicans. Um, we are decidedly less conservative if we do so. I think it's a tough, well-written book, and I just want to keep you to it. <laughs> He's just saying, where's the hate? You I want to deliver with the hate. Here's the thing about this guy, okay, about Jeff Flake. Brent Bazell, who is a chum and who runs the fantastic Media Research Center website that I'm quoting all the time, and we take some of their videos. I don't always uh, remember to credit them, but they are a terrific, one of my favorite websites, truly, because they just, they just go after bias in the press, and they just, every time they catch them out line, it's really, uh, it's, it's a funny website, but it's also just a really useful useful website. Brent Bissell's father ghost wrote Goldwater's book. Okay. So he ghost wrote it. He Bazell puts out a statement. He says, on behalf of my late father and my family, I am denouncing Senator Jeff Flake and his new book, dishonestly titled Conscience of a Conservative. Since entering the Senate in 2013, Jeff Flake has time and again proven he is part of the indulgent hypocrisy in Washington. While he waxes poetically about conservative principles, his conservative review liberty score is an abysmal 53%, also known as F. In 2013, I watched firsthand as Flake refused to sign a letter pledging to defund Obamacare. Among his many betrayals to conservatism, Jeff Flake is neither a conservative nor does he have a conscience. I mean, ouch. And and listen, you know, a 53% rating from a from the lib, from the lib, conservative liberty score, that stinks. <laughs> that stinks. And he's and he goes out there and he might he talks about Mike Pence who's a genuine conservative. I came in the same time as Mike Pence and we thought, you know, it, it's so phony, but this is the this is the thing the left loves. They love to take these guys and say, "Oh, look, it's bipartisan. It's bipartisan. Everybody hates Trump." 